Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin and for today's video, I am trying food I have never tried before for the whole entire day. So I went to Roy Rogers to get their breakfast and I got there like 10.15 and their breakfast had already ended. I looked it up and it said it ended at 10.30, but apparently it ends at 10, which I was really bummed about because I've never had Roy Rogers breakfast at all and I was looking forward to trying it. But anyway, <laughs> I'm at Starbucks. I got a bunch of stuff. I did get some of their new items. I know that like the point of this video is for stuff that's like existing on the menu that you've never tried before, but we're just going to roll with it for breakfast because I needed a plan B and I promise for the rest of the day it'll be items that are not new that I've just never had before. So first stop is Starbucks and can we just take a second to appreciate how pretty this is? It looks a little darker blue on camera but in person it's like this really pretty like teal. I don't know. I think this is so cute. So this is the summer berry lemonade refresher and then it has the raspberry pearls they're calling it. It really is like a drink for a mermaid. <laughs> And then I got a bunch of food. I did get their bacon sausage wrap. So this is not a new item. It's the only item though that they have for breakfast that I've never tried before because it came out after I stopped working there. So this is the wrap. So we'll try that first and then get a little bit of dessert <laughs> to go with our breakfast. So I got the pineapple cake that's new okay it is very like sticky though but she said it was delicious so i'm excited to try that and then lastly the orange cream stick oh no it melted probably it must have been against the wrap so it melted it's supposed to be an orange slice <laughs> that's all right but it is the orange cake pop which is cool because i feel like everyone's been coming out with orange dreamsicle something so starbucks wanted to be included let's start with the wrap since like i said that's the only thing on here that is not new i also got a pack of sriracha to put on it i feel like everything breakfast is better with <laughs> sriracha so I think that'll be tasty, but let me get a few bites into it first and then I'll add it. It tastes like something that you would get from like an actual breakfast spot. It's very hot. <laughs> My mouth is on fire. Like not spicy wise temperature, but it's what the inside looks like. So there's egg, I think potato. One is... <laughs> It's like one strip of bacon. It's kind of soggy, but what do you expect? And then sausage. I don't really taste the sausage though, and I think there's like cheese in it. Yeah, there's definitely cheese in it because it's like creamy. Um, this is really good. Honestly, I don't know why it's not talked about more. I feel like nobody ever really mentions this. I like this better than their sandwiches. So the drink comes with a, a big straw so you can sip up the pearls, which is good. Oh my gosh, the pearls like pop when you take a bite of it. I was expecting them to be like chewy, like tapioca balls, but they like pop and then disintegrate. <laughs> Okay, this is so good. So refreshing. The drink itself tastes like, like a blue raspberry punch. Just don't love the raspberry pearls in it. I said the same thing when I had first ever tried the boba tea. I know so many people love boba, but I think it's just like the texture, a texture thing for me. I just don't love taking a sip and like having to then bite something. I don't know why. Like I said, taste-wise, really good. I'd probably drink it with a smaller straw next time <laughs> so that I don't get the pearls or like ask for it without it. The refresher itself is so delicious. I think a lot of people are going to be obsessed with this thing. All right, let's try the pineapple cake. Mmm. 
It tastes like a pina colada. Mm. It's so weird. Because the pineapple on top tastes so fresh. So you have this really like light and airy cake. And then it's like a pineapple filling. And then the fresh pineapple on top. When I ordered it, the girl that was working told me that she was obsessed with this thing. <laughs> that she's not really a big fan of their pastries, but this she loves. And I see why. It is really good. I will definitely get that again, especially on like a warm day. I don't know. I feel like fruity things are just so good on like a warm, sunny day. I mean, perfect for a day. It's so nice out. So lastly, we have the orange dreamsicle cake pop. It'd probably look a little bit better if she wasn't melted, but it's probably so good. So let's give it a try. It's very chewy. Um, okay, it's not as good as I was expecting it. I don't really love that. It has, like, a hint of, like, artificial orange. The pineapple cake did not taste artificial at all. It tasted like fresh pineapple. And this tastes like artificial orange, but, like, kind of a subtle flavor. Don't love the cake pop. Everything else, though, is like a slam dunk. <laughs> Guess it worked out that Roy Rogers' breakfast ended at 10 because I probably wouldn't have come here if it didn't. So, great start to today. If you are enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. A lot of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed, so if you could do that, I would appreciate it. I got some goals that I want to hit this year, and I can get further to reaching them if you subscribe. So make sure you do that, and I'll see you guys at stop number two for some lunch. Next stop is Little Caesars. So fun fact, I have never even been to a Little Caesars before. Um, there's not one close to me at all, so I've just never gotten to one. Uh, but I thought it'd be fun to go there for today's video. So I just wanted to get some stuff that was hot and ready. And of course, the only things they had that were hot and ready were new. <laughs> I feel like this video is becoming like a new food video, but I mean, it is what it is. I've still never had it. So I got their crazy puffs. I feel like they're not that new. They've been out for a couple of months. So I feel like at this point, like they're not really like too new, but I got the regular cheese ones not the pepperoni ones because I don't really love pepperoni. So that's what they look like. I got their crazy bread. So there is a lot in here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a lot of breadsticks in here. So <laughs> that is not what I was expecting it to look like. I thought there was like cheese in it. There, look how flat that is. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I got their crazy bread to try because that was the only other thing they had hot and ready. And then I got the Twix cookie dough brownie to try as well had a lot of dessert today already and my day's just started but Twix is my favorite candy and this just looked absolutely delicious so needed to at least try a bite of this but for all that it was $12 so they're pretty cheap like I was expecting maybe like $15 $20 but definitely priced very well so that's a plus and then it came with marinara sauce, but it's cold. Like, straight out of the fridge cold. It's kind of weird. I feel like marinara sauce is always warmed up, but whatever. Okay, so let's try a, a crazy puff. I really wanted to try, like, an actual pizza from them because, obviously, I've never been there. I've never even had their pizza. But she said that... They didn't have any hot and ready and it would take like 25 minutes and I did not want to wait 25 minutes. Okay, crazy puff with some marinara. Mm. Well, that is cheesy. Mm. I 
Oh my gosh, that cheese on top with the garlic parmesan. That is good. Mmm. These are so good. Oh my gosh, I might have to come here more often. It's like three towns over. I'm gonna have to find some like activities from around here. So I have an excuse to like come here for dinner because this is delicious. I don't even mind the marinara sauce is cold because the crazy puffs are so hot that it makes it where I'm like not burning my mouth because it cools it down a little bit. Honestly, they're like a 9 out of 10. They're so good. It's funny because when I told Orlando I was coming here for the video... He told me I was crazy, and he said Little Caesars is horrible. He was like, Little Caesars has the worst pizza out of all of them. You're nuts. I don't know, man. Their crazy puffs are pretty good. Okay, this is a crazy bread. I swear she told me it was stuffed with mozzarella cheese and then topped with parmesan. There's nothing in here. Okay, I looked up their crazy bread and you all were probably like screaming at me through the screen like there's no cheese in them. Yeah, there's no cheese in them. It's eight breadsticks with butter, garlic, and parmesan cheese on top. Um, so it's like the same thing as Pizza Hut's but not nearly as good um they i'm gonna pop up on the screen what the picture of them looks like compared to what mine look like i don't know i think they messed up something in the ingredients or something because <laughs> it just does not look right i'll show you they're all like this too <laughs> look at this thing <laughs> i don't think supposed to look like that it doesn't look like that in the picture <laughs> all right whatever they're crazy bread it makes me go crazy but not in a good way <laughs> yeah okay what i am most excited for you guys always comment about how much junk food i eat listen i know i eat a lot of junk okay but i don't eat like this the rest of the week so filming is like my days to just go crazy. <laughs> I've always been um, somebody that loves sweets though. So I guess it kind of gives me an excuse. <laughs> but all right. So this is a Twix cookie dough brownie. It's cold. So they must keep it in the fridge. This looks so good. It is really good. I don't really get any Twix from it. You mostly taste the brownie, which is really soft, and then, like, the cookie dough on top. I surprisingly liked Starbucks pumpkin... <laughs> pumpkin. Starbucks pineapple cake better. I mean, this is really good. Don't get me wrong, but that pineapple cake just was on a whole other level. I would definitely say my first trip to Little Caesars was a success. Those crazy puffs are absolutely delicious. If you have a Little Caesars and you haven't tried them yet, definitely go try them because they are 100% worth it. I mean, it's four crazy puffs for $4. So each puff is a dollar. You cannot beat that. They're so good. And honestly, they should be a lot more money than they are. Um, crazy bread. I really think they just messed those up. Or maybe they just got like that from sitting. 
I don't know, honestly. I wouldn't get those again, but like I said, I think I just got a bad batch, so I'm not really entirely sure. And then the cookie dough brownie is a really good dessert, I feel like, especially after like all the saltiness from pizza, to have that nice like sweetness. I would suggest Little Caesars if you have one around. I don't know about their whole pizza, but maybe one day I will come back and try an actual pizza, but yeah. So I would give lunch probably like a seven out of 10. Um, or maybe an eight. I mean, my experience was not as good as Starbucks, I feel like, but those crazy puffs were definitely the best thing I had all day. So I don't know. Little Caesars, definitely a success as well. I will see you guys later for dinner. I am very full, so it'll be a little bit until I see you again, but stay tuned for dinner. I promise I will get something that has been on the menu for a while. <laughs> Last stop of the day is Chick-fil-A. So I have tried a lot of food from here, but one thing I have never had is their chicken strips. So I've been really wanting to try them lately. I always get their chicken sandwich as like my go-to. And then I tried a few other things just like because of filming, um, but I've yet to try their chicken strips, so today we are trying them they look very good there's like some really nice color on them they're really hot um and then I got a lemonade to drink I don't know why I got a lemonade to drink I'm not in the mood for a lemonade but there was a guy taking my order like not through the order screen and he asked me what drink I wanted and I panicked and I couldn't think of anything other than lemonade <laughs> so I got a lemonade and then I got their Polynesian sauce to dip it in you know what I should have done? I should have gotten a sauce I've never tried before to dip it in. Well, it's too late now. <laughs> Wish I thought about that five minutes ago, but it is what it is. Wow. These are so good. Why does nobody talk about these? These are better than the nuggets for sure. Oh my gosh. They're just so juicy and tender and they have such a good crunch to them and such good flavor. I cannot believe I've never tried these before. I feel like this video was like kind of sort of a fail since some of the stuff that I got is like new, but I still had a lot of really good food today. I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. I hope nobody's like, that doesn't count. It's new. Of course, you never had it because the first time I did this video, my channel was like a month old, maybe at most. And I had something that was like, I think it was KFC wraps and they were like newer, but they weren't brand new. But <laughs> Somebody like commented and was like, that defeats the whole purpose of this video. It's supposed to be stuff that's been on the menu for a long time. Not new stuff. That's a whole different video. Oh. And now today, half the stuff I got was new. I didn't mean to, though. I can't believe Roy Rogers' breakfast ends at 10. I feel like that's so weird. Everywhere else closes at 10.30, I feel like. Whatever. I mean, it worked out because the stuff that I got from Starbucks is really good. It's just, like, new. But whatever. It's my video. I can do what I want, right? <laughs> I would honestly give Chick-fil-A chicken strips a 10 out of 10. I thought they were absolutely delicious. I don't know why I've never gotten them before, but I'm definitely going to get them again. Especially, like if I'm getting Chick-fil-A, but I'm not like super hungry for a sandwich, I feel like that's like the perfect thing to get. 
I'd say best thing today is probably a tie between the chicken strips and the crazy puffs. Those were so good. Like, so unique and different and, like, really good price and really tasty. Like, I'm very pleasantly surprised by Little Caesar. So, I really enjoyed the food I got today. Sorry if you think that I shouldn't have gotten some of the stuff that I got because it was like newer or whatever. I don't know. I feel like who cares? It's not that serious. But if you guys enjoyed, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.